I'm Lauren from Pack Hacker, and in this video, we're taking a detailed look at the Chrome Industries Ruckus Accessory Pouch, which I've been testing for the last two weeks. If you found this video helpful, hit subscribe so we can keep making content to help you travel smarter. Let's dive in. If you're familiar with Chrome Industries Ruckus line, then you are going to recognize this material. So they have a sling and a backpack as well at the time of this video. This is that same material. It is a 300D poly dobby and then a 900D polyester as well. The inside is a 15D poly liner. So across the board, uh, pretty durable material. As you can see, it has kind of like a gridded ripstop pattern. Um, I really like the outside of this. I think it just has a more like urban look to it even more so than chrome usually does they're usually a little bit more like biking focus there's just more going on on the outside what's really cool about this uh, accessory pouch is that it's, it has a couple of different functions which we'll get into but I think it just looks pretty sleek. Um, this colorway that we have right here um, is one of the lighter ones, but there is um, a couple of other options as well. So you have some uh, variety to choose from. We have paracord zipper pulls on these YKK zips. They, uh, it's a dual zipper, so you can put them you know, in one location and unzip. That comes in handy for when you have the bag either at your hip or if you decide to um, hang it horizontally, then you can decide where you want those zippers to actually be for quick action access um, to the inside of the bag as well. Um, and then the last feature that we have here is really just this chrome logo. So you can see it's like a leather-like material. Not quite sure if it's actual leather or not, um, but it's just a little sewn-on patch and it just gives it more of like a heritage look and feel um, for just kind of something that's a little bit more simple and subtle, but still really stylish. The harness system is similarly simple. So on the back here, um, you can't really see it, but there is a little bit of padding on this back panel. I guess you can kind of see that it like puffs out a little bit. Um, that just makes for a little bit more comfortable and it's like resting at your hip. Uh, then we have two loops here if you wanted to like attach it to uh, your bike if you wanted to, but um, I would mostly do this with like a belt or something. Um, but I didn't really find myself using those. For the most part, I only use the actual strap to carry. So these attach with little clips. I found it a little bit tedious to get them off just because you can see at the end there's like a little bit of like a hook um, there for the like kind of carabiner shape and I just found that it got caught a little bit but granted you know once you have this on you can just kind of set it and forget it so it's not that big of a deal um, but say hypothetically you wanted to carry this you know if you carry it with these attached up here, it hangs right next to you, but then you can move it over to the side and it hangs horizontally, which I will show you how both of those fit in a second. Um, and then this strap itself is pretty easy to adjust. It slides up and down uh, so that you can find whatever fit works best for you. Um, but the strap itself is pretty lightweight and um, not really too much going on here in terms of extra carry comfort, but I didn't really find myself needing it. So this is the bag if you were to wear it at your hip. It I never really find myself using it this way. I just felt like the way that it's designed is so much better if you just have it up vertically. But if you wanted to, you have both of these zippers here and the zipper poles, and that opens nice and easy. You can see just right there. Um, so it is nice and comfortable. I didn't really find myself, like I said, doing this side uh, very often. So I will show you how I wore it for the most part. This is how I found myself wearing this bag most often. So just vertically at my hip, I wore it on my front, but you can also really easily just put it to your back, just kind of hangs out quite literally. Um, I like this vertical design a little bit better. I feel like with just with this logo and this front pocket here, it just looks a little bit more intentional when it's hanging vertically like this and a little bit for me personally more comfortable. There are only two pockets on this, so we're gonna talk about them right now. We have this front pocket and then the main compartment. Starting off with the front pocket here, this has a little bit of like a, um, lip here where it covers this pocket and there's a little bit of space up at the top but i never really found myself using that space because nothing i put in here was tall enough uh, but hypothetically speaking you do have a little bit of room up there um, it also just helps me kind of pull this top lid back so that i can access my phone so this is a phone pocket um, they say it is designed to quote fit most phones um, i have an iphone 13 and it fits in there with no problem but i think more than anything, 
it this pocket wasn't super great for me for a phone because it was a little bit clunky to get into as you can see like lifting that up just got a little bit tedious so for the most part what i did end up putting in here was more like like a pair of headphones or something that i could get to pretty quickly um without you know taking up too much space you anything you put in here does go all the way down to the bottom um it is like the size of this front area or like the entire front panel here so stuff can get lost in there um, but it's really just a preference thing i just found myself throwing my phone in the main compartment more frequently and that's just because of um, i had a little extra space to do so this does have its own independent volume though so if you do put your phone in here or any other items it's going to pack out versus cut into that main compartment space uh, which is really awesome for uh, space saving and packability and that sort of thing. But getting into this compartment, we have a three quarter zip design, which allows you to see everything inside pretty clearly. So you can see if it were to be just like this, which I have seen bags with this uh, tall vertical design that only zip like halfway down, you have limited visibility for everything that's on the inside. So this is really great that they thought to give it that three quarter zip. And then we have it horizontally, you can unzip just like this and nothing falls out, but you can still get to all your gear. So looking at the inside here, we have a couple different pockets. We have this big mesh pocket on one side, we have two slip pockets on the other, and then three elastic bands. So overall, the like organization options are pretty basic, but they do have a couple of finicky things. So with this mesh pocket here, um, this is mostly where I put stuff just because I felt like it was the roomiest thing. You can see I just have my keys dumped in here. Um, if you don't have like bulkier keys, you know, you can put those elsewhere, but that's just, that's what worked best for me personally. Um, if I didn't have my keys, I would sometimes put my phone in here if I just had like a single key or something like that. Or you can put your phone in there and then put the keys in the middle. I don't know. There's a couple of different ways that you can do it, um, but that's a way that worked for me. And then on the other side here, I have my wallet back here and then a pair of headphones in this bottom pocket. So you can see it was a little bit clunky for me to get access to. This pocket up here does go all the way down. So hypothetically speaking, you could also put a phone in this back pocket, which is, I prefer that because then it's against the back panel, which is already going to be something that's like, I'm not going to be bending this back panel very often, but I want to be able to bend this front panel forward. And that's where I found issues with like, if I had my phone stored in this front pocket, for example, if I pulled this forward, I wanted like this flexibility of this front panel to be able to like get my keys in a little bit easier or, or easier or something like that. It can just be a little bit clunky, but I found that this type of vertical design is just sort of clunky in general. Um, the taller something is and like the flatter it is, the harder it's gonna be to store a variety of gear. So if it's something that works for you, that's really awesome. Um, but like if you have, for example, you know, you wanted to have your phone in here um, and then also your wallet, that can get a little bit tight as well. So you just kind of have to find the organization style that works best for you. These elastic loops, um, I put my chapstick in one, you can see a pen in the other doesn't really make a ton of sense. It stands, it just kind of holds it down at the bottom. So I didn't find a super um, frequent use for those, but in general, you have a lot of options for storage. It's just figuring out whether or not the storage is right for you. So there you have it, the Chrome Industries Ruckus Accessory Pouch. Thanks for keeping it here, Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel, and we'll see you in the next one.